All right, so here's a plant I've been wanting to shoot again for a while because I shot the video the first time and even though I know what the plant is, I accidentally named it wrong. It wasn't the correct name I used in the video. I already shot the video and when I uploaded it, I realized later on it was not the plant that I said it was. It's actually a different plant. All right, so this plant is actually called the mallow plant. It's a edible plant. It part of the plants is edible. It does make these kind of cheese wheels as people call it. You can eat those cheese wheels. They're actually pretty good. They're not strong in flavor or anything, but that part of the plant is edible. Now, is, is the rest of the plant edible? I'm not sure. You got to realize something with some of these wild plants is they do contain, a lot of these plants will contain alkaloids or oxalic acid, which can be damaging to your liver. So you really don't want to consume large amounts of these plants. That's why they're wild plants and we don't grow them in our garden. So you don't really want to over consume any of these wild plants. You want to eat a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You want to forage and feed your body slowly and nutritiously. And you don't want to overdo it with any one plant because most of these wild plants do have a compound them that are generally not good for you. So here's a look at the leaf. That's what it looks like. Here's the underside of the leaf. And unfortunately, none of these have flowers on them or the cheese wheels that I want to show you. They come up, some years they come up and they grow big really fast. And some years they come up and they don't really grow at all. Like this year they're not really growing. But you'll also see generally shapes like this. Kind of looks like that's a good example of a good way to identify the, the mallow from the pennywort. Which is what I called it the first time. And the pennywort is a little bit different. You can see the, the striations in the leaves. This is a way you can know that it's mallow. Whereas with the other plant that I called, I called it pennywort, uh, it doesn't have those striations. The leaves look very much the same, but they don't get as big and they don't have those striations in the leaves. This plant also produces those little pods that we, they call them cheese wheels. They're like little flat, they look like a little car wheel, but tiny, like really, really tiny little wheel, like the inside of there, just a tiny little wheel. And people refer to that as the cheese wheel. Um, why they call it that, I don't know. I'm just trying to show you, you know, some of the wild plants I got that grow up here in Pennsylvania. And unfortunately, I don't have any of those cheese wheels. But as you can see, like down here, you know, it comes up as like a rosette. But that will come out and it'll get quite big. This plant can get pretty huge and put out multiple stems that come out and just grow up like a pretty good sized plant. And these are young plants, so there's really nothing on them. They're not fully grown yet. Let me see. I could take a walk over here and it might be a larger version of this thing growing and I have a lot of different varieties of plants that grow around here that I do let grow and it's a good idea to do that yeah I even got the mullen growing there but no I don't see any growing around just a few came up this year over here uh, they pop up randomly this is about the biggest one over here but they will come up randomly, and like I said, they can get quite big. So, if you ever see that plant and you see the little, the little cheese wheels on there, you could eat those. Just pick the wheel off and eat it. The little seed pod, I, they call them wheels, but they're really seed pods. So, just thought I'd share that with you, and I did want to make that correction. It's not pennywort, it is mallow, and that's it. So, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.